Hello everyone and welcome to the live stream channel of the Interfaith Franciscans known as the Teo community. My name is Sister Eleanor and I would like to welcome you today to pray with us our evening prayer. We have our candle here that is lit for peace. And we also have our prayer here for peace. Put this to the side. And our prayer for peace for today is, O oh God, we are one with you. Help us to realize that there can be no understanding where there is mutual rejection. O oh God, in accepting one another wholeheartedly, fully and completely, we accept you and we thank you and adore you. And we love you with all our being, because our being is in your being. Our spirit is rooted in your spirit. Fill us then with your love and peace, and let us be bound together with love as we go our diverse ways. United in this one spirit which makes you present to the world, and which makes you witness to the ultimate reality that is love. Love has overcome. Love is victorious. Amen. And now we have our Vesper prayers today, and today is the feast day of St. James the Apostle, July 25th. Um, he and his brother John were Galilean fishermen known as the Sons of Thunder. They are mentioned along with Peter as the three disciples to witness the raising of Jairus' daughter from the dead, the transfiguration, and the agony in the garden. James was killed with a sword by Herod, but not before leaving the legacy as a strong, impassioned disciple of Christ. The Way of St. James, El Camino de Santiago, remains a popular pilgrimage route in northern Spain where hundreds of thousands journey each year. And it would be a lovely thing. I know somebody that takes people on pilgrimages uh, along that way in Spain, and uh, it would be a lovely thing to do. If any of us would want to do that someday, it it's, seems like it's wonderful. Um, it's very hot here. It has been very hot. We're in the midst of a heat wave. Um, today it has been 99 going on 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the Democratic Convention is here in Philadelphia to nominate Hillary Clinton as the Democratic um, forerunner, the Democratic nominee for president. So lots been going, a lot has been going on here in Philadelphia. Um, the press has already been here since the weekend, and um, we do not live that far away from downtown, but far enough that we don't have to be involved with all of the uh, mix and mingle of the media, so we're happy for that. So now let's invite our Lord to come into our lives to help us pray. So we ask the Holy Spirit, come to my assistance, and Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 116, and it speaks of thanks, giving thanksgiving in the temple. The antiphon is Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him, and he became fearful and began to tremble. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm that no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, and I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all of his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make, and I will call upon the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord in your midst, O Jerusalem, Glory to our Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And again we say the refrain, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him, and he became fearful and began to tremble. 
and they became fearful and began to tremble. Now we pray Psalm 126, and this psalm talks about joyful hope in God, which I pray that all of us have. The antiphon is, Then he said to them, Stay awake and pray, that you may not be tempted. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our lips there were songs. The heavens, the heathens rather themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord did work for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our present bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back, full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our Teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And he said to them, Stay awake and pray that you may not be tempted. Just want to take a little drink of water. And the canticle we're going to pray now is one from Ephesians. And it's a canticle that pays homage to God as our Savior. The antiphon is King Herod persecuted certain members of Christ's entourage. He beheaded James, the brother of John. Blessed, or praised rather, be God, Father, Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons and daughters. Such was his will and pleasure. That all my praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, that is, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our Teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. King Herod began persecuting cer certain members of the people surrounding Jesus. He beheaded James, the brother of John. Now we have a reading from Paul to the Ephesians. Christ gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers in roles of service for the faithful to build up the body of Christ, till we become one in faith and in the knowledge of God's Son, and form that perfect person who is Christ come to full stature. And we respond to this by saying, Tell the nations how glorious God is. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Make known his wonders to every people, how glorious God is. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. And now, dear ones, let's pray the Canticle of Mary and honor Mary and the Divine Feminine. The antiphon is, whoever wishes to be among you, great among you, must be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you, must be the slave of all. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who revere him in every generation. 
He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, our mothers, and to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be the slave of all. And now we're going to pray under St. James' prayerful watch, and he's praying for us as well, our petitions. And we're to respond today with, Be mindful of your people, O Lord. Father, Mother God, you wanted your Son to be seen first by the Apostles after the Resurrection. We ask you to make us first witnesses to the first corners, farthest corners of the world. And we pray, Be mindful of your people, Lord. You sent your Son to preach the good news to the poor. Help us to preach this good news to every creature. And we pray, Be mindful of your people, Lord. You sent your Son to sow the seed of an ending life. Grant that we who work at sowing the seed may share the joy of the harvest. And we pray, Be mindful of your people, Lord. You sent your Son to reconcile all people to you through his blood. Help us all to work toward achieving this reconciliation. And we pray, Be mindful of your people, O Lord. Your Son sits at your right hand in heaven. Let the dead enter your kingdom of joy. And we pray, Be mindful of your people, Lord. We pray for Brother Sean, Brother Rob, Brother Murray, and Brother Paul, and the monastery at Storth. And we say, Be mindful of your people, O Lord. We pray for all of you not logged in, all of you who watch this program at another time. We ask God to richly bless you, and we pray, be mindful of your people, O Lord. We pray for our Earth Mother Gaia that you may restore her beauty, and we may be good stewards of her in our lifetime. And we pray, be mindful of your people, Lord. We pray for Sister Sue. We pray for her family. And we ask God to bless everyone, and we pray, be mindful of your people, Lord. We pray for the extreme heat that we are experiencing and anywhere else in the world that has extreme weather. We ask, Lord, that you protect everyone and keep us safe, and we pray, be mindful of your people, Lord. We pray for the Democratic Convention here in Philadelphia, that everyone may be safe, um, that everyone will be well hydrated because of the extreme heat and it will go very well and we pray me be mindful of your people Lord we pray for all of the prayer petitions on the chat board we bring them to you and ask you to bless and shed your love on each and every one and we pray be mindful of your people Lord and now we have a period of silence where we just want to share our hearts with God And we say, Be mindful of your people, Lord. And now if we could form a circle of love, let us pray the Our Father together. Let's take a moment and just settle ourselves down. We're at the end of our day. We're getting ourselves ready for sleep and for dreams and for healing while we sleep. So let's keep that in mind as we take a couple deep breaths, a couple deep cleansing breaths. And now we're ready to pray the Our Father. Our Father, Mother God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, 
and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, dear Lord, yours is the power, and yours is the glory, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, you consecrated the first fruits of your apostles by the blood of St. James. Grant, grant, we pray, that we, we may all be strengthened by his confession of faith and constantly sustained by his protection. And we ask this through our Lord, the Cosmic Christ, who is your Son, our brother, and our teacher, and who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us all, and protect us all from evil by St. Michael and his holy angels, and bring us to the fullness of life in his lifetime. For our final blessing, My prayer for you today is that God's blessings and mercies be upon you on this day and every day. May you abide in God as God abides in you as this evening goes on. Dance together with God, trusting God to lead and to guide you through each season of your life. And just to recall Psalm 30, you changed my morning into dancing. So blessings on all of you today, and stay cool wherever you are, and hopefully you'll have a lovely evening and wake up to a wonderful, refreshing day tomorrow to do God's will in your life. Remember, only you can do what it is that you're here to do. None of us, none of the rest of us can do it. So you are very most important, no matter who you are, no matter what your circumstance in life, you are important. And we thank you for being here. So God bless you and namaste.